Hey everyone, Hunter from Round Circuits here. Today I'm going to show you how to make custom aquarium lids for your fish tanks. All you need to make these is a pair of side cutters and egg grate. You can find both these at Home Depot or Lowe's. Egg grate is only about 18 bucks. So to start off, I'm going to be making these so they fit perfectly in this little gap here. So I'm just going to make sure I'm flush on this end and I'll cut on this end. So we've been using these this material for a few years now and it works very well. It lasts a long time if you use it properly and keep it cleaned. You've got water splash on every day and that algae and mildew is building up it's not going to last more than a year before it starts getting brittle and breaking down all right now I'm going to cut this in half Get that along this is Right, right here. Speed about half. I've got hang ons in the front, so I'm not gonna take up the whole span of the aquarium. Just gonna mainly just wanna cover the back because that's where they usually jump out at. One thing about this uh, material that we like is we can feed right through it. So we can cover the whole top of the tank. They're not gonna jump out, they're not gonna be able to they'll hit this and uh, you can feed right through it. I have one right here. There you go. See how that fits perfectly in there? And it'll, it blocks three quarters or more of the tank. So they can't jump out the back now. Same thing for this side. I've actually got a hang on this side so I'm going to cut it one more time so it fits in there. So, put that right there. Make sure it's flush in the back, and then I'm gonna cut it right here. If you've got hang-ons in your, your tank, you can have it go right up, and I'll show you. You just gotta cut around the hang-on. But these are great for breeder setups or grow-outs, babies. It's not gonna look the prettiest, but it's still gonna be very effective. There you go. Then I'll sit in there just like that. So next, I'm gonna cut out this so the air hose can go in there. There you go. Now wherever I move the sponge, it won't be stuck on there. And then now I'm gonna cut out where the water goes in. So all these tanks are in a drip system. So right about there is where the water comes in, so I'm gonna cut around there. I'll cut it one more time right here. Should 
should be good now. Alright, there we go. That'll keep the water from hitting this. And uh, the less water hitting this, the less algae you have, and the better this will hold up to the elements. This one right here, just barely sticking out, so I'm going to cut this a little bit, two in. There you go. Now it just hangs freely. So you can use this for basically any size aquarium you want. We use it for all the, the uh, 75 gallons mostly. Uh, so we got jumpers. They'll jump out of there pretty easily if you don't have this. For some reason, it's only basically the, uh, the 75 gallons. We don't really have a big problem with the 40s, the 20s. But I can see we, we use a lot of this stuff, so it works very well. And see, like this here, I'll just been building up. And see, just in one, this section here, because I didn't cut it, and I should have, because this water here is bouncing up. You can see the little tiny particles of water hitting this, and that attaches this and spreads around, and that's why it's basically just here where the water's coming in. This stuff here is still basically looks brand new. So, in this case, all you have to do to fix that is just cut out this section. I leave an opening here because um, whenever I want to get into the tanks, it's, it'll be a pain to have a whole piece here that I got to cut out a piece for that and that and move it. So I'm able to scoop in here no problem. And I almost have no jumpers at all that jump from here. And if they do, they jump into the vat, so it's no problem at all. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that's much better. Here, I'll do the same for this side. There you go. Like I said, this stuff's pretty easy to clean. You can use a toothbrush, or you can pressure wash it. Pressure washing, it's gonna be better. Most of this stuff just comes right off when you shake it. You can see how it just comes off, and you can see the white, but that's all you gotta do. See, it comes right off. The more you, you uh, maintain this, keep that stuff off, the, lo the longer this will last. This can last a few years to keep up with this. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys hope you hope you found this helpful I'm gonna try to do more DIY videos like this show you uh, simple easy and cost-effective ways um, save a little money in the hobby instead of having to buy the uh, the aquarium lids because that'll get pretty expensive and those get even those get dirtier faster than these to be honest the, uh, the aquarium lids so we prefer these much better so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching